What's up, everybody? It's Alfred and back with another video. Uh, happy holidays, everyone. Looks like we made it to December and I haven't actually uploaded. Mainly because I've been busy. Like, But, yeah, you can tell I've been grinding a lot just because I have this diamond chest now. And, yeah. I'm going to call the pocket nines here. Uh, I tried recording a few videos, but then there was just way too much background noise. So... Yeah, I'm just not going to upload those. And then the other times I recorded, I just didn't really have interesting spots. So hopefully, yeah, this will suffice. Uh, I have to be more aggressive. My red line's kind of getting decimated lately. I'm going to go for a block on this board on the river. It's nice folding out something like pocket ace queen. I mean, ace 10 is what I meant. And yeah, it's just very passive play by him. I'm surprised he checked back that turn. So I still have hands like tens, nines, you know. I'm just gonna try and get to a showdown with the fives. Possibly go for some check raises. And against somebody who's like through betting 18%, I'm just gonna go for a four bet here. Looks like we went against ace queen. I mean queen ten. Sorry, I'm a bit out of it right now. Queen jack suit is going to be a pure fold. At least in these stakes, I'd imagine. And I'm going to go for a check here. Just waiting to see if this guy falls. That way we can sweat the... um action i think we just do very 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 little calling here and yeah not on that number and just going for a showdown now lose to pocket fours Gonna get a call from a short stack, and I think we just stab. Getting a call is alarming, and we do turn showdown value. So I think we just check. Gonna go for like a lot of check raises on this kind of board, and I think we just try to get to showdown. I think on a jack, I'm gonna be leading big as I would with my fives. Same thing with my flush. Hopefully he doesn't bet. And yeah, he bets nearly pot. So uh, just an easy fold. Got a per first premium of the day. Pocket kings. Just gonna go for fixed sizing. Like seven big blinds or so. Not sure how well the min raise strategy works in this pool though. Sometimes I think betting bigger is like more optimal just because, um, just because you know, like, uh, people just call way too much when you start betting small. So, on this board, like, uh, with the king of diamonds, I don't mind going for a bet, but I think I'm gonna go for mostly checks here. He goes for another check, and I think we can go to start going for value. Something like half pot. And he just goes for the fold. I think with the king and diamond specifically, we can be betting. Could even go smaller here, like blocking the turn, then blocking the river. Getting cheap showdowns against like an ace. And I think we're just going to be betting this hand out of position against a wreck. Mainly because we have like the back door. We, I imagine his calling range is pretty wide. We can fold out hands like queen jack, queen ten. Like that's all a victory. Top pair here, blind versus blind, so we're not really going anywhere. 
I think in these spots I just prefer to block. I could even go like a quarter, even smaller, 1.7 with blind sort of thing. Got pocket sevens in a big blind. We're just pretty much calling here all the time. Get a monotone board with a gut shot. Still think we peel once. Once Jack comes, I think we're just checking it down. I think I'm folding here against a really big bet. Like he does have some Jack X I could be betting here. Um, also like, I don't think we can withstand like a barrel on the river. Just because we have like very little outs against like a turn jack, I'm just gonna fold. And multi-way, even those against two wrecks. Hmm. I'm debating whether just to like bet here. But I don't think we can even bluff anymore. Just because of this board texture. Like I think they're always calling their like pocket five sixes, but they just call. Yeah, let's sweat this one. Like I think they're never folding any kind of pocket pair, which is like heavily prevalent in their cold calling range. I'm gonna go for a block here, interesting. So we just check calls and blocks river. Another nice hand here with Ace-King. And he gets 2.5 big blind under the gun. I don't think I'm calling Queen-3 suited. Might have some a limp pot here. Flop nothing except like a backdoor straight. A lot of limpers today. Flop bottom pair in a limp pot. This might be good, this might be bad. I uh, just prefer this to go check check all the way down. And folding the 7 8 off multi way. I'm not even going to talk about that. King-Queen suit is a nice hand. I'm going to go for like 6.5 since this guy's short. And this is like the correct sizing to 3 bet, technically. I think I'm just going to go for a C bet with the 2 overs backdoor and the gut shot to the nuts. And I think I'm just going to check here with the jack of hearts. I don't mind betting either. I just think it's kind of risky. I want to be careful betting to these two people. Turn, I can just block. Don't expect to see many check raises here. Sure, big blind can have something like tens, but I feel like big blind would be leading out if he had any like kind of pair here. And they both snap fold, so. Pocket queens, another nice hand. And at this paired board, I'm just gonna like decide to see bet half the time. He does have a wide range of floats. If we're betting here, I think we're just mainly repping like our over pairs that we're going for like a check raise. I think with this bait, I'm just gonna bet and then bluff spades. Oops. Hmm. 
still think I'm gonna bluff. Maybe he just has ace high and I'm not really believing. Uh, or do I really want to bluff with like the king of hearts? I don't think so. Has two pair and doesn't value bet it. Interesting. Kind of a loose call here, but I've noticed this guy's like a wreck, so might be like room to outplay him later. But not when he starts betting pretty big on that dry board. Kind of tempted to ISO here. I'm just gonna go for a three bet here. I think it's gonna put him in a tough position. Flop an open ender, which is good. I think though that this range heavily favors like this dude. He does have, I guess, some like pocket, like sevens, eights, tens. Just overall, I think that we want to be checking them under whatever range. Gonna be calling this min click and flop trips. Maybe we can like, maybe he has like aces that somehow min clicked. And I think we're just gonna be going for a call here. It really makes sense to check raise. I don't really think we ever have jack nine that scores three bets. And I still think we're just calling here and just like donk jamming like straight completers. Uh, we take this one down. He's repping like tens a set here basically. Could even have nines. We do get some showdown value. Queen 10 could have been an open actually. And looks like we're good. I feel like I'm playing a bit too fast. So he has pocket sixes. Don't mind the two street bluff, to be honest. I guess you have like a gut shot. I never have like jack nine here. He has like a lot more like tens, eight sevens, like I said. I feel like my tens and my sevens and eights would just be flat calling in the big blind. So yeah. Turn's kind of weird because like I do turn some hands like queen jack suited, ace queen. Might be a loose like three bet pre anyways, but uh, it worked out. I'm gonna go for a C bet here. Same thing here, just a high frequency C bet. And gonna be checking this ace turn actually. I'm gonna keep betting on this heart. Interesting how he leads now. Um, I guess like his turn leads are just mainly just strong aces. I don't think we can fold just yet. Hmm. So it's kind of weird. Like I don't really think his. I think he has like some strong like ace x that lead to turn. Maybe some like flush, flush draws. Either way, with this hand, it's just way too weak to value bet. Interesting lead. Just a lot of folding going on, not much, go not much. Anyways, I hope everyone's having a good holidays. I'm gonna be three betting like Queen Jack sometimes actually. This deep, I'm just gonna play pretty honest. We do have like two overs and some decent back doors. I think we can just like decide whether we want to bet. When I roll really high, um, I'm just gonna be betting. It's kind of weird. Like I've been seeing like a lot of videos. Like some people have the other way around, where they make their low numbers aggressive actions. But I always just made sense to me to make it like high numbers, very aggressive action, or like your low frequency plays. Yeah. Sorry if that tilts anybody. And pretty much here, I'm just betting like a lot. 
snap calls. Let's see my notes on this guy. I think on the jack, I think I'm just checking a lot. I'm going to be checking this hand a lot. And we reverse straight. I think his range is relatively weak just because the way he checked. I'm just going to try and get a call from like some 10, like 910 or something. And now we just start pumping in money. Forty-one. I mean, seventy-one more hands to go. Playing relatively fast, but this is what I kind of do. Like when I get home <laughs> at these late, at like late at night, I pretty much just play every single leaderboard, like two NL to like fifty NL. Actually, I'm not gonna call this. Nine ten off. I think I'm. I think I was just gonna fold. So right after this, I'm probably just gonna hop into the um, sixteen and out pool and finish off with the twenty five and out pool. Just trying to score the leaderboard. I see, I still have my 5 and L table open right here. Uh, just going for some bets here. I'm um, just actually going to go for a check. I uh, was going for a check raise. I guess we can go for it again. Um, my tables are glitching right now, so... Yeah. kind of happens a lot actually when like it closed like another table uh that's a straight flush <laughs> i think this is a good note just to end like our it's a good note to end the video even though i haven't completed the leaderboard it looks like i'm just gonna not gonna cut place anyways but i just don't want to like go through the hassle of opening up my client we'll end off at this end uh, I was just hoping he had the ace of spades, and yeah. So pretty good session. We're up a buy-in in 250 hands. I said my red line was decimated, but yeah, like that's what I mean. Uh, oh, my red line's still pretty good here, but we've had moments of uh, weakness, I'd say. <laughs> but either way, you know, first few sessions of the month going good. this year and yeah pretty much still the same thanks so much for watching have a good one